because of the Magmo's bouncing abilities, and it's sort of like you're firing bouncing Molotov uh, grenade, grenades everywhere. So I remember I always just picked Silex to shot coil and then run away because his morph ball was the fastest one. I I never got to play the game online. By the time I had gotten the game, the online servers were shut down. Uh, it really sucks that even though the game is on the Wii U, they didn't do anything to like give it an online uh, an online service system of sorts. Yeah, and hey, um, hey. I, I know that if it were still active, it'd probably still have a fairly lively community of people who would just go in and play a match every now and then. Yeah, I remember back in the days, um, it was very uh, popular uh, to play the game of sorts. There is this, there's definitely a community for it that I think nowadays could be sort of on a smaller scale to, say, Splatoon's community. Mm -hmm. um, because it definitely had the sort of charm that Splatoon had, but as opposed to being, you know, quirky and colorful, it was the more serious. It's the Metro universe. Yeah. Um, and I always felt that I am particularly uh, kind of picky with shooters today, especially like Splatoon and Overwatch, because um, I remember back in the day when, you know, you buy Metro Prime Hunters, it comes with all the content already pre-built, pre-installed in the system. So, you know, it was seven game modes, seven different hunters with their own abilities, about 40 or so maps, um, being able to create lobbies, friend lists, and all these other quirks that sometimes games today, they just release the game, and some of this extra content is kind of missing. And it, even though they upload it as free DLC, it's kind of, uh, it kind of uh, makes my hype train go down when it's yeah. like, oh, I gotta, I gotta mm -hmm. wait for an update. Like, so especially the on the Switch, it's... Yeah. Um... Like, with how little storage that has, not everyone's going to buy a micro SD card. Exactly. Um, when I got Splatoon 2 on that thing, I popped it right in, and it had a day one update, and that really just... I just thought, okay, wow, we've got a day one update from Nintendo. This is yeah. really where it's the really industry's weird. going, so... <laughs> and it's also the fact that I think it's worth reminding everyone that the Switch's online will be free until the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So starting next year, everybody has to pay for online services, and I think that's really going to hurt the system a lot, sadly. To pay for online services, um, I think that's really going to hurt the system a lot, sadly. Um, I, I always prefer, you know, it's taking the whole PSN and Xbox Live route, and a difference from maybe PSN, where you get some discounts in some games or free games every now and then. The Switch's service only lets you play online, and seeing i've had some fair share of problems playing splatoon online at least yeah. locally with friends and that i, I even got uh, my mind i even got uh temp banned yesterday because i kept i was trying to play the Splatfest, and, you got and this i just kept getting an unstable connection and i'm on a wired connection oh wow um and it actually i got disconnected from so many matches that the thing temp banned me for three minutes Jeez, if in our case is is worse because my my brother and I try to play locally, you know, just no no online. We're just oh, trying to connect wow. one switch to the other, just to try out the Salmon Run, and we couldn't get like a proper match going because we sometimes get disconnected or like I I make a room but my brother can't find it and I'm like just perplexed. And they were just right next to each other. Yeah, we were we were literally sitting on the couch right next to each other. Oh wow! Well, one of us had the system on the TV. The other one was playing off, of you know the undocked form. But we were literally in the same room, only feet apart from each other. Oh wow! So so uh, it, it kind of is a bit worrisome because, um, the the Wii U had some stable connections with most of its games. Uh, I still blame Sakurai for the Smash Brothers. Um, connection issues but whenever they turn out to this paid system I think it's really gonna hurt them in a in a bad way because there's no pros to paying the online subscriptions as you get to play online yeah not I um mention, not to mention they still haven't announced a virtual console for the system yeah which which is very perplexing for me. Like, how many times do you need to make virtual console before your consoles can have virtual console year one? Um, what I think it is, is they, uh, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, 
I think they're trying to hold off on Virtual Console as to try and boost the sales of that, which yeah, that makes I don't think they'd need to do that. No. Because people who are going to buy the SNES Classic don't have a Switch or don't want to buy a Switch. Or there are some people who um, are just collectors of just Nintendo stuff, and they they have a Switch, they have, you know, everything. Yeah. And they just want this because it's something new that's not in their collection. Yeah, I don't know people who own um, the the NES Mini, at least, who also own the Wii U or, or a Switch, for that matter. So they, they yeah. pretty much only got it because they wanted the, the, the nostalgia of the older games without having to pay $300 for a new system. Mm-hmm. And so, like, um, one thing that really want, like, that makes me want the Super Nintendo Classic is the Star Fox 2 being on there. Yeah, that's, that's the main reason why I'm tempted to get it. But I, I, I feel that I might personally still pass on it. Um, because of, of Samus Returns coming next month. Yeah. Um, and then in the month after that, uh, their Figma is releasing a figure for, a possible figure uh, for Metroid Prime 3 Samus. Oh, the, um, looks, the, the, was it the Dark Suit? No, Prime no, 3? N- no, Prime 1 Virus Suit, but it's Figma. So it's not one of those okay. first four figures, giant. Oh, yeah, I saw something size. about that. So it's like the other end figures have been coming up but it's based around the Metroid Prime 3 uh, armor and Samus. And oh, the looks... PED? No, no, the, the Varius, just the Varius. Oh, okay. But it's in the, it's designed to look like it did at the beginning of the game. So it's sort okay. of like your Metroid Prime 2, Metroid Prime 3 Varius suit. Okay, uh, yeah. And that's coming up a month after it. And I already own most of the games I want for the SNES, be it on Virtual Console or in physical for the SNES itself. So um, I, I feel like I could save myself the, the hassle of trying to get myself one of those because seeing the SNES, the NES Mini's track history is going to be annoying to just try to find one. Yeah, and I was actually lucky enough to pre-order one on Walmart before they canceled oh. them all. <laughs> oh, so you're one of those lucky <laughs> Yeah, <guys>. I got... <laughs> I pre-ordered it, and then, like, the next day I see the money's been refunded, and I was like, okay, what happened? Yeah, what, wait, what? <laughs> like, okay, it clearly went through because you refunded the money. What's wrong here? Exactly. That's kind of like a, 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 a jerkish move yeah. from, in, in my eyes from, like, uh, Walmart and all that. There's people who, who've already been charged, and they're like, okay, I got it. Wake up next morning, oops, nope. Yeah, that, and that's, you know, come on. Like, I feel what probably happened is they just saw, like, how fast they sold out, so they wanted to talk with Nintendo, see if they could get more stock. Yeah. But and it, even then, you don't have to cancel the pre-orders. Yeah, you, you could just... It, it, it's, I really feel it's part of Nintendo's um, sort of going behind the times. People, don't, please don't get me wrong. I love Nintendo. If not, I don't think I would yeah, have a, same here. A, 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 you know, a starting YouTube channel based on a franchise that some uh, Nintendo didn't really care much until this year. Um, and so it's, it's simply that the things they're doing a lot of things that I love, but they're also doing a lot of things that kind of take me off on, on why mm-hmm. um, they keep doing stuff like this. Um, not having virtual console in your systems from day one. Uh, the Wii U had YouTube, internet browsing since it was released. The Switch is still just there. Yeah, um, and like I'm, I'm still there's, there's pr- no very way curious what's like up with that. Or use pictures, or use pictures you use from the screenshots you take as backgrounds for your Switch menu. Uh, oh, I'd I'd love that because there are some pretty unique Splatoon posts I've seen. <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty funny Splatoon memes. Uh, I've been fortunate to see a lot of like Metro Prime Four jokes going on or Mm -hmm. what sorts of like screw this game i want metro prime 4 yeah like um and i watch um vine sauce occasionally and he's a metroid fan yeah um and joel my my brother who who voices crocomire does a great impersonation of the the kermit joel (laughs) it's kermit joel is amazing i was um hello kermit joel earlier today 
Um, I was in a Discord chat with a few of my friends before they had to go, and uh, he just kept uh, saying, uh, "He just kept saying, who's been drawing dicks? <laughs> he just kept saying that over and over again. <laughs> um, but uh, so, like Vinny, he loves Metroid too. Yeah. Um, he, like, I, uh, what game did he say? I think he said he wanted to play Prime pretty soon. I I couldn't tell you because uh, it's been honestly uh, a bit of a time since I've hopped on Vinny or Joel streams or yeah I was you know, um it's I usually watch them when I'm working mm-hmm. um I, I like to put in the background just listen to them ramble yeah that's uh, what I do uh, and every works. time Vinny plays a Metroid game it always turns into complaining about other M yeah every time it's great I kind of I kind of like it that like even though they're you know they they release Samus Returns and Metroid Prime Four and they're they're giving signs that they're going back to traditional Metroid. They're kind of done experimenting for a while. He still goes back to other M even when he's playing Federation Force. Yeah. So uh, I don't blame him. I'm I'm kind of the same because uh, I'm one of those guys who actually enjoys other M's gameplay. Um, I'm not a fan of the story, but I don't absolutely hate it. Um. um I feel the gameplay could have been a lot better if they would have yeah, uh, yeah. given the thing uh, pro controller support. Yeah. Or at least yeah. support for a nunchuck. Yeah, I'll I'll put it here. Hashtag shameless plug. I made a video about it called Metroid Switch. Yeah, um, um, I'll link on, that on in the yeah. chat. So it basically goes over the my opinion that the main issue that other M had that nobody seemed to be complaining is that the, the control just limited the gameplay. Um, the environment, the, the way you move, the, the reason I dislike playing other M compared to say prime is not necessarily because of the story is because it feels boring just holding up all the time and seeing Samus just run. Yeah. Um, and, and you can do the same things from like the shine spark, like you do in the 2d game. So mm-hmm. I feel like proper controllers could help it. But even then when I'm going back and playing the game, I just skip all the cutscenes. Yeah. I even, um, um, today I went and I played like 10 minutes of that and I was like, all right, I'm done here. Yeah, I'm done here. Um, uh, fortunately, you could skip the cutscenes, which is something I'm appreciative for. It wouldn't let me skip like some of the first ones. Yeah. I think it's because it's can, the first time I've loaded the game exactly, on the Wii U. You can only do it like on a new game plus file. Yeah. Because this is the first time I've loaded it on the Wii U. Yes. I... Because in my case, um, obviously, when we're doing sort of the pre-production for the channel, I pre-baked in the sense that I went over and recorded all the games before I even started making videos for the channel. Mm -hmm. Um, So I went over Other M and every specific checkpoint of sorts. I would make a save file, copy it over my hard drive. So if in the future, uh, one of my files gets corrupted or I need to show more about some specific enemy boss or section. I don't have to replay the entire game. Um, yeah. So all I did was reload the... I, I have that, those game files and I would just put it on my Wii U so I don't have to stare at the cutscenes. Which is a shame because I feel like some of the pre-rendered cutscenes done by D-Rockets look very stunning. Especially when you realize they're running out on the Wii. And the transition between in-game cutscenes and the pre-rendered is kind of seamless. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, all well things integrated all things considered, uh, Other M is a very nice game visually game. on the Wii. Yeah, I feel especially like the envir- for the Wii. Yeah, the, the environments might be the most lacking part. They're very generic, and that's the only point. The only the only thing I'll botch points out of. But I've always been a fan of the Other M of Varia suit because it kind of made it a little bit more practical. Um, cause when drawing the, 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 the chibis, the characters that appear in my videos, mm-hmm. you, you, it's kind of when you start realizing that the armor, the shoulders really get in the way. Yeah. Um, and the virus and the virus from other M kind of helped with that. Uh, yeah. and I, and I, and I like how the enemies and everything looks like the retro games. It's just that the environments you're walking in aren't as pretty to look like and compared to say fusion or even the which is another like space station based game Mm -hmm. so so it's it's really a shame because i feel that a lot of people simply uh, botch the story even though it's yeah it's kind of it's really bad 
uh, but I can give it credits that the pre-rendered um,